hold shift, right click, take that item, throw it on the ground, and then right click. Boom! <laughs> I love that. That's great. What's up, people? I'm Zog here with an updated Psy tutorial for you. This is by popular demand. There were, may or may not have been a few tweaks or kinks in my last version since it's been updated so many times since then. But I figured I would go ahead and just lay one out there in case there are. This is the updated version for the latest Minecraft version, currently 1.11.2. It's the Psy mod, the technology meets spellcraft which is a really cool mod, I love this thing. Anyway, before we begin, I would like to say, if you liked the video, please do hit the like button and subscribe if you would like to see any of the regular series that I have going on. I got a lot of interesting things going. I always have interesting things going, <laughs> so go check those out. Also, there are some links in the description I'd like you to see, so please do do that. Now, thank you for letting me throw that in. A little self-promotion, it's a thing, but I do need to say that this tutorial will have a slightly different way of doing things. If you see the if you've seen the older one, then you know what I'm talking about. It's going to have a little bit of a different way to do of doing things. But if you haven't, don't worry, you're not missing anything. This is also going to go from nothing all the way to max. So there is you don't have to see the 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 older version before you see this one. It, it might be an updated version, but it's not built on top of that older video. It's just a brand new video. Anyway, it's going to have different ways of doing things because eat, we're going to change as few cells as possible in order to get to the next level. If you don't know what that means, don't worry about it. You will later, but just keep that in mind. As few cells as possible. All right. Now, that does mean that this is not going to be a list of interesting spells. This is just a list of spells that will get you through the levels, which is why you're here. I will, however, have a video of interesting spells with a link in the description once it's completed. So if you have any interesting spells, go ahead and send them either in the comments here or to me on Twitter, which there's a link in the description, or any anywhere you know how to get a hold of me is fine. Just send them on over and I'll go ahead and collect them up and I'll put them all into one big list. Now that list is going to be available to you, to the public, forever, as long as I can. It's going to be a huge list of just nothing but size spells. All of them will not be outlined in the video that I was just talking about, but the list will be there and available to you. Now, I'm talking too much in the beginning, and I do apologize, but it's time to get going on this. So the first thing is your resource list. This is everything you're going to need in this tutorial to get to the max level. So go ahead and jot those down. I am in the default texture pack, which was another suggestion on the last video. For some reason, I thought it was a good idea to use a texture pack in a tutorial video, but you guys are right. Default is of course the winner, but here you go. Go ahead and jot those down, collect them, do whatever you gotta do. It's not much, but most of it is just making all of the spells. The spells are the important part, not the resource list. It's pretty cheap to get into a Psy. So now head over to your crafting table. We're going to go ahead and make ourselves a piston, first of all, which is just this. Take that piston, put it in the top middle, run down the sides there, not the bottom two corners, just those guys right there and that one right there to take out your CAD assembler. Then you're going to go ahead and make this shape with the iron in the crafting grid to give yourself the first iron CAD assembly. Now you want to go ahead and place down your cat assembler, right click, put in your iron cat assembly and take out the casting assistant device. Now it makes that wicked noise, but there you go. Now take out five redstone and 13 iron. Okay. Now you can drop all five of your redstone and do this all at one time, but I want to show you something. So we're only going to do one for now. Now drop it and then right click, bam. It hurts a little bit, just a tiny little tick, and you hear that noise, right? You hear the noise, and now you see a bar on the right side of the screen filling up right now, almost maxed out. You also see the words right there on the screen. They are not going to go away until you do what it says. So unequip your CAD, meaning scroll off of it, and then press C, okay? Now, I have already learned some eventually. 
Um, you will also see this screen when you start a new world. We're gonna say no to this, and then this is what you're gonna see. If you've never done side before, this is what you're gonna see, okay? So then you're gonna come here, and you're gonna click learn. Don't worry about the screen, we'll get into it later. We'll get into all of this stuff later, but for now, just click learn, and then hit escape to get out of there. Pick up this guy. Now go ahead and do the other four of them as well. And now pay attention to the right side of the screen. You'll see how much it costs. It costs 100 to convert. No matter how many you're converting at one time, it will always be the same cost as one. So one of them will cost the same as four. 100, okay? Now you're gonna go back to your crafting grid and we're gonna start some crafting. Now there's a very important thing here, okay? We're about to make the thing that's gonna allow you to have spells, okay? And if you want to store those spells, if you wanna keep them long term, then you're gonna to wanna to do one redstone and six more iron for every spell you want to have. The strongest CAD you can get can hold 12 spells. So if you want 12 spells to be held in your world permanently, which is what I do personally, then you're gonna want an extra piece of redstone and an extra six iron per one. But for the purposes of this tutorial, we're only gonna do one. Now, what you should have is five side dust and 13 iron. Go ahead and drop one in the top middle and line the sides with iron and you're gonna get the one spell programmer. This is what you're gonna make for each spell you want to keep in the world. But like I said, for us, we're only gonna do the one. Now you're gonna drop another side dust right in the middle, line the uh, outside middles with uh, iron Take out, take out the basic CAD core, one in the top left corner, iron there and there to take out the basic CAD socket, and then one and one to get your spell bullet. You're gonna have one side dust left over. Go ahead and stash that aside because we're gonna be using it later. Before we continue, there are a couple things I think you should know. Number one, in order to get to the screen where you learn your spells, you press C when you're not hovering over your CAD. That brings up something else. You see how the gun is kind of poking up? You'll see that in effect a little bit later. Scroll off of your CAD and then press C in order to get to this screen. Also, the learn button is gonna be right down here. You'll probably see me click it, but just in case you don't, that's what it is. Also, there are descriptions for each uh, level, each tutorial, each level is here. I recommend you read them, but there is far too much for me to read for you, so read it, I'm going to skip it. One final thing before we get moving on this, you may not see me actually level up. You notice how it popped up when I did level one, it popped up on the screen and I told you it wouldn't go away until you pressed C, right? You might not see that for future levels because I have to work out the spells, which means I've already used them and therefore gained the level, but I will go in and I won't learn the next one until I'm with you guys in the video. So that way you can actually see me learn it rather than me just doing things without you. Now go ahead and place down your spell programmer, go into your inventory, put in the casting assistant device into the crafting grid and take out the iron CAD assembly. Then go to your CAD assembler, shift click in the iron CAD assembly, basic CAD core and the basic CAD socket, and then take out your casting assistant device. Now, the first one is pretty simple, okay? You go in, you right click on your spell programmer, and then you right click on a cell to bring up this menu right here where you can choose things. Click on trick debug. See that it has these little things right here. We don't have a target right now. So you click over into the next slot. This brings it into the cell next to it. Then we go in here and say caster. You see how it's now a check mark? It means it's done. So we can go back to our spell bullet, right click on it. You hear the beep beep? It means it's done and then it has accepted the spell. Go to your cat assembler, shift click, shift click, shift click. Now we have our first spell in here. Hold C, select debug, and then right click. Now we're level two. Now go into this screen, you'll see tutorial two is right here. Click on learn and then go out of that Go into this, and instead of the caster, we're gonna select zero, okay? That's the one change you need to make. Now you can hover over the weapon, hold shift and right click, 
and it will store the new spell into that spell bullet that's already selected. You don't need to take it out first. It's a very important thing. And then hover in the air, right click. We're now level three. Scroll off of the CAD, press C, and click on learn. Now, if you want to name this something else, you can feel free. We're just going to go with tutorial. That's not how you spell tutorial. We're going to say tutorial is the name just so we don't get confused about the trick that we're using because now we're going to change it. So you're going to right click on this guy and go to entity add motion and we're going to have a big old X and a bunch of selections. First of all, we're going to say speed is now zero. So that way it's there. Direction is going to go up. Target is going to go left. You're going to right click on the top slot up ab above it. Click on entity look with a target of going left. You're going to right click on this slot with the caster and then you're going to go into this slot and click down. That should mark everything there. Now, when we do this spell, we are not, again, shift, right click. We are not going to move because we have a speed of zero, but we right click and we do indeed get the level. Go ahead and hit C after you scroll off your CAD and click learn. Now we're gonna go in and do something that's a little bit interesting, just, just a smidge. You're gonna right click on the trick add motion. You're gonna go to trick explode, click to the right for power, click up for position. Right click on entity look and change that to entity position and click left for target. Then you're gonna to go to constant number, right click, type in 0 0.01 for the power. This, this is gonna be the power of the explosion. And click that. You don't want any number higher than this because you can kill yourself with this one because of the fact that if we now load it, shift right click and use it, you hear the explosion. Basically what happens is it exploded on us. So the higher that number, the more it's going to hurt you. But you heard the explosion. I had already gained a level from it. You should have just gained a level from it. So now you go into hit C. We're gonna do entities 101, numbers 101, or vectors 101. We're gonna go right down the list. We're gonna do entities 101, okay? Click learn, and we're gonna continue. Now, for the next one, go ahead and pull out some item. It doesn't matter what item it is, just any item, okay? Then you're gonna go ahead into here. You're gonna right click on the connector piece, go to closest to point. Position is gonna be to the left, target is gonna be up. Go to the left uh, box and go to entity position, click down, then right click on the down spot and click to the right, connector to the right. See how the dots and lines are going to the right? Do that one. Then above the closest to point uh, thing, do nearby items. Position is gonna be connector down. You see the lines going downward, you do that. Radius is gonna be 32. You type in 32 and you see the constant number show up. You'll go ahead and do that. You can now hit escape, hold shift, right click, take that item, throw it on the ground, and then right click. Boom! <laughs> I love that. That's great. Now go ahead, scroll off, hit C, and click Learn for Numbers 101. As fun as that was, go ahead and put your item away. Hold Control, Shift, and press Delete, which will clear the grid. Yes, we are going to clear the whole thing. We're going to make sure that this is indeed easy again. We're gonna right click, type in debug to get this trick debug to show back up. Target is going to be sum, which you can also type in to search for if you want to. Number A to the left, number B to the right. Type in any number you want here. We're just gonna go 12 and on this side we're gonna go 234. Now you can go ahead out, go and rename it back. I need to rename it back to this guy tutorial since I since you cleared the grid it goes back to whatever the main trick is so now it's named and now we're gonna go ahead shift right click to load it and we right click see what pops up in chat 
the answer to the equation, which is also pretty interesting. Scroll off your CAD, press C, and learn Vectors 101. Now we want to go in here and right click on Operator Sum. Change this one, type, so well, start typing in Vector, and change this one to Vector Construct. That's all you need to do. You don't even need to select the constant numbers here. You just do that. Shift, right click, and then right click in the air. There's your vector of zero, zero, zero. Go ahead, scroll off, press C, and learn alternative casting. Now this one is talking about projectile spell bullets, loop cast spell bullets, which you guys can learn on your own later. But in this case, you're gonna shift right click on the numbers to get them off of the screen. You're gonna right click here and start typing in focal. You're gonna do the selector focal point right just like that. Hit escape, go to your uh, CAD, shift, right click, look in the air and right click again. Debug is incredibly useful for gaining levels. Go ahead, scroll off, hit C, and learn block works. Now we need to go ahead, right click on trick debug, start typing in break, and go to break block sequence. Do not click on break block because that one will not work. It has to be break block sequence. Then you're gonna shift right click on this guy just to get it out of here. This one is going to be a connector to the right. This one's gonna be connector upwards. You're gonna hit set position up, target to the right. Both of these are gonna be a ray cast, vector ray cast. Then you're gonna go position up, ray to the right. This one right here is gonna be entity position. This one's gonna be entity look. Both of these are gonna go into the same uh, direction into this block, which is gonna be a caster this one right here. Then you're gonna go back down to the break block sequence, hit left and type in one, click on that and everything will be good. And if you did it right, shift right click, you can aim at a block to break it. And that should have given you your level. Now you scroll off, hit C, click learn on Psi Metal Infusion. Finally, an easy one. The next one is pretty easy. Go into here, press Control, Shift, and Delete to delete everything. Right click, type in Psi, type in Infusion, there we go. Trick Infusion, that's why. It's not called Psi Metal Infusion like I thought it was. Anyway, click on this guy, escape out of there, Shift, right click. Then go to your chest, take out the six gold, the one redstone, the four iron, and the one extra side dust that we had from earlier. Then you want to go ahead, throw the gold, all of them, on the ground, and right click. Now you have leveled up, but continuing on with things, you want to go ahead and make the Psy Metal CAD assembly just like so. Then you want to throw your redstone in and put the side metal like so to make the signaling CAD socket. Then you want to put your side dust in here and the iron all the way around to make the basic CAD core. Then go over to your CAD assembler, shift click all three of those in and take out the new casting assistant device. And I know it's hard to see over there, but look at the bar beneath the JEI to watch what happens when I place this down. It disappears. You see that how it kind of goes away? That is because we then have two active casting assistant devices in our inventory. So go to the chest and put the first one away after, after you shift click it in to take out the batter, or the, uh, the bullet, then take it out, put the new one in, put the bullet in, then take it out. Then go to your chest and put the casting assistant device into the chest and you'll see that once, we, once it's active, we now have our bar back. Then press C and learn block movement, level 11. Block movement is next. Now we get to play with something that's pretty cool. So you wanna go ahead, we're just gonna go ahead and clear this guy, shift right click on him to clear him. Go to move block, go to this corner 
and go type in ray and do the regular raycast, vector raycast. Go to the other side, type in the same thing, only this time choose vector axis raycast. Then you're gonna go to this block right here, put in the caster. The top block, put in entity look. The bottom of that caster block is going to be entity position. Now you need to link everything. Entity look is going down. Entity position is going up. This guy is the position is going over. This guy's position is going over to the left. This one's to the left. You see the blue mark. This one's to the right. You see that I should probably say since it's so small. Then the ray is going up on both of them. Then you're going to put connectors to connect all the way. That's the wrong direction into the entity look on both of them. Once you do that, this guy is, the position needs to go up. Target, or actually, I take that back. Position needs to go to the right and connect upwards. Target needs to go to the left and connect upwards. And you see that it does indeed complete a full thing. Shift, right click, and we can see some of these guys. <laughs> we can now move a block towards us from any direction, including up and down which I said those backwards, but you know what I mean. And it, you can also move glass as well. Then of course, press C and learn elemental arts. Now it's time to play with some more fun stuff. Right click, type in smite and change it. Now, we don't want to smite ourselves. So our position is going to be to the right into the ray cast that's gonna choose our position as a base and then where we're looking. You can also shift right click all of these connectors including this raycast and this connector. And all of those can now go bye bye You can get out of there, shift right click, and then whatever block you look at, you'll get a lightning strike. And you'll level up in the process. Go ahead, scroll off, hit C, and learn movement advances. This one's going to be a little bit easier. You're going to hold shift, sh uh, control shift, delete to get rid of everything. You're going to right click, type on, type in blink or start to, hit blink. Your target is caster. Your distance is going to be, we're going to say five. Then you're going to get out of there, shift right click and use it. Boop, we blinked. We blinked. Now scroll off, hit C and learn loop casting. Now we're gonna go ahead and shift right click on that guy, shift right click on that guy. We're gonna go back to debug, if I can spell it properly, debug. We're gonna go up as the target and we're gonna do loop cast. We're gonna type in loop and then you're gonna do that one. That's all you did, that's all you need. Then you go back, shift right click and bloop, level up. Then you go scroll up, press C, learn. Now that one was all about the loop cast bullet. If you had a loop cast bullet, the, the numbers down there, they would actually end up increasing for every iteration of the loop that ran. It's an interesting little feature, but I didn't think you needed to know too much about it. We're using a regular bullet, so the number's never gonna go up. This one is also easy. Shift right click on both of those, go back to infusion, and this time go to greater infusion. Get out of there, go to this, shift right click, throw your diamond on the ground, and right click. <laughs> then go to C, and learn positive effects. Now we're gonna start adding some speed. Shift, or we don't even need to shift right click, just right click, go to speed, do this one. Target is going to be the caster. Power, just do a low number. Don't try to go crazy. You won't have the power for it yet. Just do number two. And time, we're going to also do number two. These are pretty easy to apply, but go there, shift, right click, and then boom, there you go. Now you've got your speed and your level. Scroll off, hit C, and learn tool casting. Now we're gonna go back to debug. Shift right click all of the pieces, go to debug, debug, here we go. 
Then you want to go to block broken right here. Selector block, block broken. Just like that. Go ahead. Climb out of here. Climb, climb out. Yeah, totally. Shift right click and then right click. It will say spell operation vector is non-existent. I don't know. It'll give you an error, but it'll still work and it'll still level you up. So then you do that, press C, go to learn the negative effects. Now, much like the positive effects, we're gonna go to negative effects and we're gonna do wither, which is the next one we have to do. Same deal here, target's going to be us. Don't worry, we're gonna have low numbers. Then you're gonna have power is gonna go to the left where we're gonna put in 0.01, and then we're going to go down to time, which is going to be one. Power is going to be one as well. Then we're going to go into here, shift, right click, and right click. Now we have wither for one second. Just one second. Just enough to level us up. And then you press C. Go into here and exosuit casting. And learn that. Okay, for the next one, we're going to go here and type in time. Then we're gonna go there. That's all you need to do. Shift, right click, and right click in the air. Then you scroll off, hit C, and learn the next one. Block conjuration. Okay, the next thing we need to do is go ahead and right click and go to conjure or start typing it in. Conjure block is the next thing. You wanna right click here, go to entity position, click over, go put in caster to the next block, this guy, you go up for the position and that's all you need to do. Shift, right click, right click. And then you have a block conjured right in your face. Go ahead, scroll off, hit C and learn flow control. Now we're gonna learn about sleeping. Right click, turn in sleep, or type in sleep, hit sleep, go up, uh, right click on this guy and do just a number, doesn't matter how long, don't do too big because it's basically sleeping. And then you can shift right click that guy out of there. Then you can get out, hold this, shift right click, and then right click. It's not gonna do anything because you just told the whole spell to sleep, but it did sleep for two ticks or seconds or whatever number that is. I think, I don't know which one that is, to be honest, I've never used sleep before. Then, of course, go and learn Zmeltery. For this next one, I missed something on the list of resources. Just any item that is smeltable. I'm using cobblestone because it is one of the most widely gotten items in the game of Minecraft. But you can use anything iron or gold or whatever. It doesn't really matter what it is. Just anything that can be smelted, including the food as well. Now, what you need to do is go ahead and, and hopefully I remember to add a little note about that in there, but we want to go in here, trick sleep. Instead, you want to go to smelt, smelt item, not block, item. Then you want to go up. Your target is going to be an item closest to the point. Position goes to the left and you're going to go to position of the player here and you're going to go to caster on this. Just like so. Then on this guy, you need to go to the target is going to be, uh, you're gonna type in near to get to these and you're gonna do nearby items. Position is gonna go up and wrap around left connector, left connector, down connector, down into this. So near the player. Then this is going to be 32, which is going to be the radius that the uh, items are going to be into the list of that, that made no sense, but hopefully 32 blocks around you are, are, you know, that's what the list is going to generate. All the items within 32 blocks. Hopefully that makes sense. Anyway, drop that down. Go ahead and get your spell active and then right click. Now the reason you have to have the item in there to be smelted is because of the fact that if you do not smelt an item, you will not gain the level. This is something I just tested and I just found it out, which is why there is an addition to the resource list. In any case, we're gonna move on. I scroll off of that, hit C, and learn trigonometry. Hopefully we're back to the basics. Go ahead and hit Control, Shift, and Delete to remove everything. Go back to the good old debug, and then upwards, your target is going to be the constant pi. 
This is the one you have to use. Do that, get out of there, shift, right click, and right click in the air. There you go. There's your next level. Then you hit C after you scroll off and learn detection and focus. Now, right click here, start typing in switch. Then go above it, hit number two. Go up here, it doesn't matter what number really, one through nine. Then go up here, position just like so. Get out, shift, right click, and right click. You've reached level 25. While there are more levels to earn and more pieces to unlock, this is the last level in which you will receive more Psi energy. So your Psi energy will be left at a maximum of 5,000 from now on instead of continuing to expand. So you have reached the maximum amount of Psi. Congratulations. Now go ahead, hit C, and learn memory management. Now you want to right click, start typing in saved, and you want to go to trick save vector. Then you can just go to entity look, position or target, caster, and this guy can be the target. And we're going to save it number down to number one. Then you can get out, shift, right click, and right click. Level 26. Scroll off, hit C, and learn secondary operators. Now you want to go in, go into debug again. Of course, we're coming back here. Shift right click on these other guys because you don't need them, and then start typing in square. This is the one you need to use. So we're going to debug square of two, just because. I'm going to go ahead and export that prematurely. Now we're going to go here, shift, right click, and then right click in the air. It tells you that two times two is four. Scroll off, hit C, and learn the last one, Eidos Manipulation. This is pretty fun too. Now we're going to go into this guy. Right click on him and go to Eidos, which by the way, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that properly. So those of you who know how to pronounce that, please don't make fun of me too harshly. Feel free to correct me, just don't be mean about it. Anyway, so now all we gotta do is shift right click, shift right click, and we're gonna go and do a five second uh, reversal of time, basically. So now we're gonna go out and do this, and we're gonna run one, two, three, four, five. Bloop, 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 bloop. <laughs> I love it. I so love that. That is amazing. Now, if we take a look, there's nothing else to learn. You are now the maximum level of level 28 in this mod. So congratulations. I do want to mention one last time, feel free to hit the like button. Please do hit the like button indeed. Subscribe, pretty please. Go watch my other videos because I got a lot of stuff going on and I'm super derpy in all of it. So it's amazing. You're going to love it. Also, check, in the, check out the links in the description. Not only my Twitter, my Patreon, my Ask FM, but also the other stuff down there, the public size spells, the ones that I use personally, and the tutorial spells that are in here. So there you go. There's a lot of them. Also, the, uh, the, the ones from all the special ones, the cool ones from that video that I'm going to make and haven't made yet will eventually be down there as well. So if it's down there, congratulations. You didn't even have to wait at all. But those of you, if it's not down there, then be patient. It will be soon. Okay? Anyway, if you liked the video, hit the like button. Subscribe if you want to. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. Peace out, peeps.